Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I literally have no idea what we're doing. I think we're gonna feed some of the turtles. Hopefully everything is going okay outside. We have to soak pancake. We have to, I don't know. We just gotta feed everyone. I wanna film this before Peanut goes down into the depths, never to be seen or heard from again. But I'm getting these guys accustomed to me because every time they come to the front of the tank, I throw in a little bit of food. And just earlier off camera, unfortunately, I was able to get, this is little, peanut and butter is hiding in the back right corner in some sphagnum moss but i know that little peanut has been coming out and more willing to accept food and whatnot so it's really exciting um getting these guys adapted to their new environment and being able to see them from the side i really like this aquarium also i should note that i added this um aerator this like bubbler because some of the fish were really looking out of it and i know it's because of the methane and gases that were produced by decaying sphagnum moss and so I threw in a little aerator just to, to help those little guys out. So here Peanut is doing exactly what I said that they would do and I've also caught him basking one or two times and he's using the wood in order to climb up and get to the top of this aquarium and get to the, the surface to grab a breath. So let's see if we can throw him a little food. No food for you guys not till a little bit later. Here you go buddy. Here he goes. Here he goes. Right in the glare, that's perfect, perfect. Look, here he comes. Oh, you're such a good little swimmer. Good job, little one. So he's just gonna spend some time, break that apart. And I'm probably gonna throw them a little cube of frozen food as well, just so it's down and like sinking and easier for them to get rather than the floating stuff. Although, you know, I think this is a really good depth. This is like not bad. They seem to be motoring about in it pretty okay. Does he know that there's another? Hey buddy, look right here. Hey, look, there's another piece right here. Oh, nope, okay. Look at, look at how cute, how he swims along. You know, going in, hiding, he can smell. There's another leftover pellet right back there. Wow, I just, oh, I can't wait until the two of them are swimming to the front of the tank and like totally adapted to this new environment. All right, Mr. Pancake, we gotta get him soaking. Hi, baby. Hi, buddy. Yep, come here. Hi, baby. Get yourself a little drink there, bud. There, he's taking some some little drinks there. You can see his little throat moving. That's very good. I don't know, we're just gonna keep dry docking Pancake until he starts eating. Once he starts eating and his attitude is better, he'll be ready for, you know, probably a mini enclosure and then another couple weeks till he goes outside again. I wonder if I threw him some food if he would eat today. I don't know, I never know when he'll eat. All right, so I'm gonna let him just sit there and kind of you know, soak up some of that water while we go try to feed the baby spotted turtles. Okay, let's grab our blood worms here. Just one cube. We're gonna leave Pancake. Bye, buddy, I'll be right back. Okay, let's see where these little buggers. Here's one of them. Got something for you. There we go. Hey, buddy, go ahead and eat that. That's good stuff. And check out all the new little baby fish that were born just the other day. Sometimes the females will get stressed while I'm moving out and like rearranging the tank. And then they'll just pop out some babies. You're not right behind you, buddy. Right behind you. <laughs> He's not getting the hint. Ooh, I'm scaring you. Move to your left. Move your head to your left. As soon as you move that head to the left, you're gonna see the worms. You're gonna smell it. Here you go, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Look at that little face. Take a bite. There you go. Yay! Now he's getting the idea. There's that little voracious little baby spotted turtle appetite that we know and love. Look at him now. Hi, buddy. Is that good? Yeah, that's good eating. Wow, I'm kind of surprised. He ate like nearly that entire thing. Wow. That's one hungry little baby. I've also got one little baby terrapin left who goes out to his new home on Monday. So. You can see he's got a really, really good appetite. He's gonna try to break up that little pellet and be able to eat it in a little bit. Remember when I was like struggling to even get these guys on camera? Yeah, that is no longer the case. Perfect. Now I'll just go and find that other one. Bye, little buddy. I don't want to bother him or distract him too much. We have some strawberries left over that were in here. And, um, well, the seeds are starting to sprout, which is kind of funny. 
So we're gonna take a look at butternut here in a minute and probably mix up maybe a little salad if I can. Otherwise, we're just gonna do a couple of little pellets. I wanna clear away a nice little area so that way he can come and eat them. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water so that way they soften up nicely and that way they're nice and easy to eat. We have a visual on butter, the other spotted turtle right there in the back. The light is not picking him up very well but we have visual on both spotted turtles, which is really good. There he is. That's the two of them happy and healthy in their little enclosure. So I threw some broken Missouri back there that they're just gonna go ahead and chow down on. Now we need to go check on Pancake though. Let's just throw the scraps of this. Actually, let's give to this little fella. Here you go, buddy. Here's some little food scraps. That's the rest of the broken Missouri that I was given the spotted turtles. So he can eat that. Butternut will be over shortly for that. And I need to go get the container so that way I can feed all of these little vultures. All right, Mr. Pancake. Oh, somebody moving and grooving. Shoot, I, st I, should, I should grab some pellets and see if he wants to eat them. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab some pellets, see if little Pancake there will eat them. I'll be right back. All right, here's a bunch of little pellets and let's go give them to him. Hey, mister, you hungry? No, not hungry. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think he's gonna eat these. We're probably still a couple days out from when he first starts eating. Yeah, so he's definitely not looking to eat. So I'm just gonna pop him out. Take a look at maybe his legs. How are those doing? All right, looking better. His tail is nice and plump, which is good. We're gonna just send him back into his little... Wait, 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 buddy. Weirdo. There. Once I cover him, that's what he does. He just kind of slows down and then he's probably gonna go back this way towards where it's nice and warm. Okay, children, the time has finally come. These guys have been waiting for a while to eat, so let's get him set up. Hello, Butternut. Butternut is here and the food is not. So we know that he ate his little munch crunchies, his num nums, if you will. Perfect. Let this fill. All right, and now, all right, children. Okay, now I'm gonna leave those three and then put in the next round. While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna grab some water to, to, to add to the displacement. Whatever, words. All is well. Now I just have to wait for these little cuties to finish eating. It's just funny, I'm looking at these three right now. They all have the same shade head color. They're all like kind of purple. The three of these all have like a nice little purple head, which is kind of cool. Yeah, these guys all rock. I'm so freaking happy with the bean babies. Maybe we'll get more this year. Don't know. Maybe I'll be able to find the ones that escaped. Who knows? Quick little bout of terrapin appreciation. Look at this animal. Look at Blondie. I mean, this is a freaking killer turtle. I don't know. I just, I've been looking at these guys more and more recently as they're growing older and I'm just amazed. It's crazy that their papa, Pancake, it's crazy that that's like their dad. They're like nearly the size of him. All right, let's go check and make sure that nobody else is killing themselves. Okay, let's take a look at how our plants have settled in. Ah, not very nicely but not like horrific. These lily pads here are doing their best to reach the surface. Here comes the entire um, barrage of terrapins. Actually, things are not looking too bad here. The water has cleared up nicely and you know, I'm fairly certain that these plants will end up growing. I, you hear a frog back there being cute. All right, so let's grab some food for these fellas. Um, let me feed a little bit to the guys over here though. Mr. Jelly, here you go, sir. And Otis, wherever you may be, and just toss it in there. Hey, bud. There he goes. Nice. Well, let's find Otis. I'm sure he's got to be somewhere in here. Are you right here, buddy? Yeah, there you are. Of course. Every day he's just right here under the plant. As long as he's happy and healthy, he could stay there as long as he likes. Let's go ahead and start feeding everyone. Here's a little dragonfly who needs our help to get out. There you go, buddy. I'm here. Everyone is eating. And this is probably a little heavy as far as food goes, but you know what? These guys deserve it. This flipper right here. We got my personal favorite crouton, my buddy. Some of the spotless terrapins coming around.
So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one.